Hello Red Raiders, it's a really good friend Rigo and in today's video I'm going to tell you my deepest, darkest secret. The places where I study on campus. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Drop the intro. So in this video, I'm not going to be talking about the library and the student union, which are, of course, really good places to study. I mean, I go over there, I study with friends in those places, but sometimes you just want to have a different scenario, environment, you name it. Sometimes the student union and the library are really, really packed. So in this video, I'm going to tell you one of the high gems here on campus where you can go and study. In number five, we have the Rawls Basement, which is located in the Rawls College of Business. This place is really, really amazing because it has two parts where you can go to study, one in the east and one in the west. Some of the reasons why I love this place is that they have a lot of space where you can go and study. They have chairs, they have tables. You can go to make individual work or you can go with friends and do like group projects, uh, presentations, even meetings. Also, something about this place is that it has really big windows. I don't know why guys, but I'm a guy who needs windows so I can like study, I don't know, color aesthetic, probably it's because of like the aesthetic, I just like to take the picture for the gram, you know? Uh, but yeah, I need a place with a lot of windows so I don't feel that I'm like in a, in a, like an actual basement, like yeah, open spaces. Yeah. <laughs> You can go either to study in the afternoon or you can go and study at night. The only downside of uh, the Rawls basement is that because it is part of the college, it's going to be full of students that are waiting for the classes. So maybe you will go around like 2 to 3 p.m. It's going to be really packed of just students. Like either they are working, either they are studying with friends already or they're just waiting for the class. Most of the students are just waiting for the class, so you will be like, oh my God, there's no place for me to stay there. I will just like wait a little bit because when they go to their classes, like the place gets completely empty. So yeah, I will recommend to go a little bit more like between classes. In number four, we have the Encom Lounge, which is just a small place in the corner of the Media and Communications building, which is a really good place where you can go and then also study by yourself or in groups although this place doesn't have like a really like big setting for group studying but it is a good place for you to go by yourself and study for your classes i believe that after 3 p.m there's going to be almost no people there in number three we have the experimental building number two you hear it right number two because there's two i mean there's one and there's two yeah number two, go to number two. I have mixed feelings about this place. It is a really good place to study. Uh, you can go and study with your friends, uh, but you can also go and study by yourself. But the problem is that it only has two places to study. It only has two tables to study, but this place is the quietest place I have found in campus. Since it is a building for only research, uh, there's no classes, so there's not going to be people waiting like for any class like in the other buildings. But in this place, it only has two tables, which is the downside, but it's really quiet. Like you can go, there's barely like any sound happening in that place. So if you actually need a, a place, like a quiet place, so you can have like a meeting or on Zoom or something like an interview, I would actually recommend this place since you're not going to be ever like bothered by anyone. There's not going to be any sounds that are going to be like bothering you during your presentations. So I would actually recommend this place mostly for interviews presentations or anything that you need to like have like a one-on-one -on -one setting, you know? In number two, we have the Architecture Lounge, also known as the Corner, which is located in the Architecture Building. This place is really beautiful. It has like, I think, I think it's really new on the Architecture Building. I don't, I'm not really sure, but it looks really new. You have small places where you can go study by yourself, but you also have a more like group setting uh, type of study. I will recommend this place if you're going to work on groups uh, since it has like more like bigger tables for like 
larger study sessions, you know? The place also has vending machines, so if you need like a quick lunch or a drink or whatever you need, you can go to those uh, vending machines and you know, like, give your body a little bit more like rewards, you know, like a good drink, a sandwich, yeah. And finally, we have my number one and my favorite place to study, which is the Plant and Soils Lounge. This place is really, really beautiful. Like, first, because they have a big window, like a really, really big window. It is the Plant and Soils building, you know? So the courtyard, it has like beautiful like scenery or I, I don't know, landscape. I, I'm not an expert. I took a class, but I'm not an expert. Uh, it has a really beautiful like place where you can just feel like really relaxed. The place is really small. Like the place, this is the smallest place uh, to study. And it doesn't have like a, like a, you know, like a level like type of table. Like it is like more like for you to like rest and just like sit down and just like work as bad as you can. But the place is really quiet too. So that's everything I have for you guys. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Which one are your best like study places to go here on campus? or outside the campus. That's everything I have for you guys. I hope you like it and I hope to see you next video.